evaluate the limit as x approaches pi by 2. I would say from the left hand side, but, but if you're thinking about a unit circle, which we will be soon, x is approaching pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2. And that's the limit of sec x minus tan x. So something like this. Um, I'm going to rearrange this so I can get a quotient with the aim being potentially if it's indeterminate, it may end up being a L'Hopital's rule. So, let's say the limb as x approaches pi by 2, from something less than pi by 2, of sec x minus tan x equals, or if we just write down the definitions of those, so equals the limb as, bracket there, as x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2 of, or sec x is at 1 over cos x, minus tan x, we know that's sine x over cos x. Okay, so now, <coughs> handily, we've got a common denominator of um, cos x, so it's just the limit as x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2 of 1 minus sine x over cos x. Okay, so now if we look at that, if we just draw a little circle, we should be able to have a think about these limits as well. So it, top and bottom, the numerator and denominator, they're both that nicely continuous everywhere and differentiable everywhere, so that's quite handy. Uh, pi by 2 is over here. So if we're approaching pi by 2 from something less, we're kind of approaching it from this way. And you can see as we approach pi by 2, um, sine x, remember, is the height. That's approaching 1. And cos x, remember, is the, the width or the x-coordinate. So as uh, x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2, uh, sine x, you can see, is approaching 1. So that means 1 minus sine x is, must be approaching 1 minus 1, which is approaching 0. And as x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2, well, cos x is approaching 0. So we do indeed have this indeterminate form of 0 over 0. Lim has one limit as indeterminate form and it's 0 over 0 so if you just look at it they're really nice functions to differentiate hopefully L'Hopital's rule will work very nicely like I say both uh, differentiable there's no issue with discontinuities or anything like that so we're going to use L'Hopital's rule we will use Orbital's rule. Rule. So now we know the limb as x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2 of 1 minus sine x over cos x over cos x equals the limit as x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2 of the derivatives. Well, 1 is a constant, so that disappears. Minus sine x will differentiate to minus cos x. And cos x will differentiate to minus sine x. So we now have equals the limb as x approaches pi by 2 from something less than pi by 2 of cos x over sine x. Right, so now this is actually a lot better. Uh, we could go back to our old circle, but I'm just going to draw another circle here. Remember pi by 2 is over here. So as we approach pi by 2, you can see that cos x approaches 0 and sine x is approaching 1. So as x approaches pi by 2, uh, from something less than pi by 2, cos x approaches 0, but sine x 
approaches 1. So now the limit, lim as x approaches pi by 2 from this side of cos x over sine x equals 0 over 1. And this now is not an indeterminate form. 0 over 1 is just 0 equals 0. So we have finished. L'Hopital's rule was very, very beneficial in this situation.